Hey, Tamara here. This vlog is brought to you by our great friends at the Colorado Maker Hub. This is the community for inventors, entrepreneurs, and tinkerers. Go check it out. All right, so the question I got in today is one of those that makes you pause a little bit before you turn on the camera to answer. And uh, it was asked to me by Edison. And the question is, how do I know if my invention is a failure? Well, wow, first of all, Edison, I have to say that failure is a very final word, isn't it? It's like it's successful or it wasn't, it was a failure. And the failure stuff we tend to wrap in a pretty bow and put on a shelf and never look at again, like it's completely done. And you know what? Sometimes it takes 10,000 trial and errors before we get to that solution that works. So if you're worried about your invention being a failure or frankly, if you think you're headed down that path, I would take a step back and ask yourself, is what I'm trying to accomplish not working or is the how not working? I think oftentimes we can stick to the destination, but our path for getting there needs to change. It could be the how that's your problem, not necessarily the destination or the problem that you're trying to solve. Although I have to say my good friend, Steven Sashin over at Zero Shoes, wildly successful shoe company, Barefoot Running was his inspiration, said to me, Sometimes people entrepreneur themselves into the ground. That kind of took me back a little bit, but think about that. Make sure that you are not sticking to something that isn't working until you've dug yourself a hole so big you can't get out. So take that step back, think about what you're trying to accomplish, think about your how, and if you start and find yourself in that hole, dig yourself out. Or should I guess say climb out, because that's how you would do it. If you want to be a part of what we do here, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Shook TV, and join us at theshook.com.